Welcome back to the channel guys, we're here on The Hunter Call of the Wild for season 9 and week number 2 and we are here on the beloved Silver Ridge this week for a little uh, St. Patrick's weekend hunt and we're after the mountain goat. <laughs> So if you know anything about the mountain goats, that means they do not drink, which means we're going to have to find them in their rest and feed zone. So it's going to be a bit of luck, I guess, to get our three best golds on the mountain goats here in Silver Ridge Peak. So it's going to be quite the hunt. Gonna, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be pretty exciting. Now, our weapons of choice are the 4570. So we can use the lever action that we already have, or in the new weapons pack, we can go with the new... Uh, handgun right here so that's going to be our choice right now because i want to save it on weight we're bringing out the new 300 as well so we can take out some buffalo and such but uh um we're going to try that handgun because i i really like the 243 handgun here and so now we've got the 4570 handgun so these things are each one weight so they really diversify your uh loadout for sure they give you a much wider range. I, I love the 243 because then I don't have to bring a lightweight uh, weapon. And now here on Silver Ridge, we're going to need that if we run into a nice pronghorn trophy. So kind of works out really nicely for this. But we're out here. We're going to be searching for these mountain goats. See if we can't find them in these rest zones and uh, the uh, feed zones. So I'm just I'm not real familiar. I don't hunt them regularly. So we're just going to randomly be running around some of the hot zone areas that they have and see what we can come up with but obviously we're trying to get in that top three so our three biggest gold mountain goats is what we're after this weekend now we will try to qualify for that we did qualify last week with the supreme huntsman with our super rare uh, albino sandbar so we are qualified for the tournament so the pressure's off we're just here looking for trophies and to have a good time so that top three might be in sight it might not but the other three ways that you could qualify or the other three awards that we can get this weekend and that is the Supreme Huntsman Award which is the largest diamond mountain goat harvested so like last week with our sandbar uh, we happen to get the largest diamond of the weekend and that's what we're looking for for that award for the mountain goat. Now then there's the sniper award versus the farthest single shot taken with any 4570 on a male mountain goat and that's going to be pretty far i guarantee it's going to be over 500 yards this weekend because of the elevation here in silver ridge every time we come here the sniper award goes over 500 yards easily so it is due to that elevation but uh, the third award is going to be the jackalope award the lowest scoring male mountain goat with all harvest checks pass maybe that's the one we're looking for this weekend because we're going to be lucky to find the goats at all here on saint patrick's day weekend and if that luck holds out maybe we'll just find the uh, a small one or something but Ah, uh, maybe we'll find a diamond. It's been a long time. Wouldn't it be awesome to find a melanistic mountain goat? I do not have one. Remember whenever they had drink zones and some people would post them and you'd see them often? Man, they were such a cool, cool trophy to get. And I still don't have one. Maybe this is the weekend for that. But we'll see. That would be pretty awesome for sure. But I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Uh, let's get to it. Finally, I can get a range here. All right, under 100. There we go. Woohoo! Man, I tracked that guy forever. <laughs> Had to be quick because he kept spooking on us. Should be a nice gold there, big boy. Sitting up there at that max weight, so. Anytime you, that's, that's really the only way I can figure out how to hunt them when this thick of the, the woods and the forest here. Just find that track and get on those max weight 320s, 319, whatever it is. Alright, let's see. Should be our first gold here, guys. Something to enter. It's been a long time since we've had a, uh, a gold mountain goat for sure. And it is a 99.8. We didn't quite break the 100 mark where we were looking. But a 99.8 is nothing to be ashamed of for sure. We will get this screenshot. And it gives us something to work off of. But it's our first of three golds. 99.8. Very nice. Man, they look good. Man, I wish they had a drink time so they were a little more fun to hunt. But it is what it is. 
and we're we're tracking them down that's for sure it just takes a while I just had uh, some males here near this lake blowing at us oh there they are there is a four in there but I want to make sure we see everything else first their wind is good so they should come out of there yeah perfect there's the four but he's not up to max weight so likely not gonna be a big one But he's probably still a gold, so I think we'll go ahead and take him. I don't see anyone else in there, but... Oh, he's alert now, huh? Let's keep our focus. He should spin around here. They do their little walk off and then, and then post up. That'll do. Hopefully that was the only two there and we didn't miss something good. Alright, let's see. Should be a gold for sure, right? Yeah, he's a 9249. He is our second gold. Very happy to have him. They are really hard to get on and find. I haven't found that sweet spot yet where there's just a bunch of them. I do have some favorite places I haven't been yet, but still. Man... It, it, it's definitely a hunting weekend. It's not a shooting weekend, which is just fine. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Uh, that, that was a nice one right there. Oh, man. I oh, couldn't get him in camera. Whew. Hopefully that's it. Don't be running. Don't be running. Got them all around us. We were in them thick here. Some small ones. I don't know what else was in this group. Oh, he's dead right there. That's awesome. That should be a nice gold for us. I was watching this little group coming through that little opening there. I just saw that guy. <laughs> I just got to be able to record. That's some nice horns on that guy. That should be a good gold right there. Oh, no, it's a diamond. Yes. A hundred percent. I was thinking that was a gold. I wasn't even thinking about it being a level four diamond guys holy cow what the heck our first diamond with the new 4570 handgun look at that and it's a mountain goat while we're out here trying to find some lucky mountain goats in their feeding zones on st patrick's day weekend that's pretty cool <laughs> that's first time I've been surprised by a diamond in a long time I, I didn't even think about it I was like man he does have some big old horns but he come walking through there just got lucky look at that wow double lung plus the liver right there fantastic that put him down instantly that 4570 the new handgun gets his first diamond claim this weekend I wasn't even expecting that to happen but a 10856 as far as the competition goes that's uh well that might actually be a a uh, Supreme Huntsman right there. I think a 10811 is what's entered, so we'll have to see about that. But uh, that's awesome. Well, we might sit there for a little bit. A 10856. We're very happy with this. Very happy with this. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Was not expecting a diamond. I'm telling you. I just it was so fast anyway. All you're seeing is level threes, and when you do see a four, I saw that there's a couple fours. They weren't very big in 90s. 
it's their estimate and I was like I see another white one behind something else white behind that tree and I just kind of waited on it there and it finally come through after I was checking a small one running by us and there he was instantly I didn't have any time so I just hurried up and hit record and let's go maybe I can get some back recording in on top of that and show you that little bit before we'll have to see if you've seen it then you know I was able to get it done but wow diamond for the weekend first trophy lodge i'm so happy right now i did not i was like ah oh, we'll get out there for those mountain goats to see if we can find some three gold just to see if we can find three gold still haven't got that third gold yet putting in a lot of humping and hiking all up and down the hills here so man i'm so happy <laughs> this really makes the weekend for me a 108.56 diamond right there double lung with that liver oh so awesome Talk about luck. Our St. Patrick's Day luck paid off for us this weekend, that's for sure. First time and again with the new 4570, and it hammered him. No problem. Very nice. Very versatile weapon for that one on the weight. Man, taking a big old cannon with you for hardly any weight usage. It's awesome. Well, let's get back on and see if we can't get our third gold anyway. Well, I was looking out across this lake at these... Uh elk and you can see right there that's a light gray or whatever and I think that guy right there is an albino Rocky Mountain elk holy cow that's awesome we're just gonna take him from up here maybe <laughs> um, let's go with our new 300 that sounds fun let's see if we can't take him out quick Oh yeah, he's dropping hard. That has to be an albino. Rocky Mountain Elk, holy cow, here we go. Not a monster, but nice one nonetheless. Hope it is. That's awesome. Oh, I saw the pink hoof. Yeah, 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 that's an albino Rocky Mountain Elk right there. Pink hooves and all, let's look at him. And a gold at that, a level three gold. I wasn't 100% sure since he was a three. But albino Rocky Mountain Elk and gold. Gold albino right there. 357.26, pounds there. Level three albino, our first rare with the new 300 at 271 yards with that 300. And it absolutely smashed him double lung. Very nice. What an awesome trophy this weekend. Can't wait to get him in the lodge. That is beautiful. So I thought we'd come down and check some drink zones at some different times and see what we can find. Very glad we did. Pull this albino out of there. That is gorgeous. Albino. Rocky Mountain Elk. Albino sandbar last week. Albinos are thing right now. Very happy to have them. Oh yeah. I haven't had a diamond turkey forever. And we've got a level three Tom right there. That's awesome. Light brown. We're going to get on him as soon as possible here and take him. Yeah, I've not seen a level three in quite a while. Should be no problem here. Of course, then he wants to spin around. But we'll take him right there, no problem. He can, we'll take him from right through the spine, probably. Good, good deal. 22 should have us a diamond turkey. All right, here we go. There is a level three Tom and diamond 4.67. Wow, that has been forever since I've seen a diamond Tom turkey. Ah, oh, I haven't seen a level three. I can't even remember. It's, it used to be one of those things where you thought, oh, some of the easier diamonds to get is go after the turkeys, and then something changed, and I hadn't seen any. So I'm very happy with this. What another nice trophy to add to our weekend here. Level three, we got him with that 22. Right there in that off lung there, that from the behind. Very nice, very nice. A nice light brown diamond. Very happy. It just clocked in on a who's <laughs> <It was> stuck. <laughs> 
not cool. There's a pie ball. Who is stuck on top of Ooh, that's a nice big one. A nice level four pie ball. Oh, there he's straightened out. But he's got out from under him. Good deal. Well, we're gonna let's just go with this. Oh, that ground is right there. We're gonna have to back up the hill a little bit. to move on oh, he's get a clean shot there we go that'll do it that'll do it <laughs> yes new 300 gets too rare this weekend too rare rocky mountain should be two golds at that we got a pie ball and and albino let's see gold 351 beautiful what a gorgeous pie ball to rock your mountain elk right there with the new 300 uh, 351 that is on the score 60 yards with the new 300 double lung no problem took him out bam just smoked him that's gorgeous what a cool specimen having an albino and a pie ball together can't wait to see them in the lodge. Hopefully we can get them together somehow, or at least near each other. That's awesome. All right, here we go. A chance for our new 300 right here to pick up its first diamond right there. We got a big old five bull elk, 458 to 545. They gotta be a 481. So we've got a real good chance here. We don't want him moving on us so let's go ahead and get on it because he is sitting pretty for us all right that should be solid there he is he's dropping quick did we get our first diamond with our new 300 rifle well we'll find out because that thing's a beast it is a power machine let's go here we go Look at that big ol' elk. Big ol' RME bull. Let's see, did we get our first diamond with the new 300? Yes, we did. What a weekend. Our first diamond with the 4570 handgun earlier, and now our first diamond with the new 300 rifle as well. Whew. What a beautiful first diamond for a new weapon of the 300. Looking forward to seeing this guy in the lodge. That is awesome, man. It took him out no problem. Almost 300 yards. Blew through that second lung. Put him down quick. Man, what a powerful weapon that thing is. Well, we've changed out our 300 a while ago. And we grabbed the new 10 gauge shotgun to see about trying to get its first diamond since we've lucked out with the other two this weekend. And look at this. We've got a five medium mule deer. I'm gonna try to work our way in here and try to get that buckshot on them because the slugs are too big for them now. As you notice, they've changed from a six to a five. And I did just see that other female that is in our way or on the other side, I think. Uh, oh no, that's even worse. That means she's in our way, I think. We'll have to, we'll, we'll work it around here and see. All right. Yeah, make sure we're on that about 54. <laughs> make sure we're on buckshot. Yep. All right. Oh, he's attentive. I think we're going to try this. And let's see. I'm just slightly high and back so we can get liver maybe. Spread as long as we don't hit the skull and everything. Now, because it's buckshot, it's going to take a while as long as it penetrated. 
It's gonna, oh, he's dropping. There we go. I'd say that's vital. It's just gonna take a while with that buckshot. Not something I usually take a diamond with, that's for sure. All right, there he is. Man, we have tracked this guy forever. There he is. Let's see if that buckshot did it. And yes, look at that. We caught that lung with, looks like at least two pellets. The one's in there. That's probably when it took the picture, I assume, or whatever. I'm not sure how the how it does for the uh, buckshot, but here, regardless, we got it. Oh, got some nice little stickers off those uh, upper forks there. That looks really good. Really, really good looking rack on them. Not even a slug or a bird shot for a diamond, but we're going to use buckshot here for our five medium mule deer. 326.28, 447.31 on the weight, 63.32 yardage. And we're going to catch that little four along there to us. And it took him down within enough time. 1.13 miles if it's all correct. But it was a long track job. It takes a long time for those BBs to make a difference. But what a cool, cool diamond for that shotgun. All right, that's where we're going to leave it, guys, for season nine, week two of the Hunter Call of the Wild competitions here on the channel where we were after the mountain goats, the uh, golds are better mountain goats on Silver Ridge Peaks. We had a great time. I, I really enjoyed myself, obviously, but as far as, let's focus on the goats. The goats, man, they were tough. I haven't really, I've hunted them a few times. Like I've wandered up and kind of looked for them and stuff. This guy was quite a cool little trophy though. I took two big golds, everything else that wasn't over a hundred uh, minimum, I kind of just let pass like if they weren't gonna top out at 100 on their estimate there wasn't any point because the scores were already well over that so I knew that there wasn't much use in taking those so we took two of them that we tried to get in there and they were only hit in the 90s but uh, there was a couple fours here for this guy I was just wandering down the hill just kind of looking for some and glassing and I saw a couple fours and I seen and they kind of got spooked and and this guy was back on the other side of that uh, pine tree and I saw some white and then once he came in the clearing there he was I barely had enough time to hit record I did back record we'll see if I if that footage come out for you but um, you know he came through it was a quick shot boom thought he was a just a nice big gold and turned out to be a diamond so he was quite the treat and he made supreme huntsman award so he was the largest diamond taken this weekend so that's two weeks in a row we were able to get the supreme huntsman as we got it with our super rare last week on the sandbar and then this week with this guy so we are well qualified no problem for the tournament that was the only award we went for I never saw anything small enough to get to the to, to even get down to the smallest goat because the smallest goat was already lower than every estimate I had lower lower end estimate I had other than maybe one or two but they were way too big and uh, so that's where we went with the goats I just kind of at, at a point I was like you know I'm happy with this diamond I give up I'm tired of looking for these guys <laughs> and I just went off and tried to enjoy the new weapons this weekend it became a mission to try to get a diamond with all three of the new weapons from this week and we did make that happen as first of all we'll just go ahead and hit this guy we did come across a level three turkey right here we got a diamond uh, level three turkey there he is we did catch him and put him out with the uh, 22 I was super shocked to see him down there in the field and very nice to have him a nice little light brown diamond but uh as far as the other weapons we you know our 4570 is what we were after the goats and we did take that goat right there with the new 4570 handgun and then we were able to take our diamond uh, Rocky Mountain elk here nice big boy with the new 300 and then somehow i was able to use that shotgun and get the uh, the new 10 gauge shotgun and we took with buckshot we took the mule deers the slug i think was six to nine but now that the mule deer have been moved down to class five or level five or whatever you call it uh class fives yeah <laughs> they're now class five so uh, they're not a six anymore so i was like oh i better pay attention to that and i went and grabbed some buckshot for him i was originally looking for bighorn sheep with that shotgun and we came across this guy instead so we're happy to have a beautiful big old mule deer with that new shotgun with the buckshot i don't 
can't. It might be the first diamond I've ever got with buckshot at all. I don't. I don't ever use buckshot for anything. And I was like, I gotta get a try to get a diamond with this shotgun, and it, you know, unless you're going for birds or something with a slug. And wow, what a it's a pretty cool trophy to me because it, it probably is my first buckshot diamond, I think. So it's just I don't know how that happened, it just happened and there it was. The other two trophies we got was pretty sweet as well. The beautiful albino, both golds, albino, uh Rocky Mountain Elk and the piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. Both of them were golds, so that was pretty cool. Two gold rare, a diamond Rocky Mountain Elk, as well as our diamond goat with the 4570, and our diamond mule deer with that 10 gauge shotgun. And then even got a diamond turkey with the 22. So what a full, full, long weekend we had with these guys. And uh, I had a great time hunting old Silver Ridge. Silver Ridge always, always pays off. It doesn't matter. You're always gonna find something out there if you're hopping around enough for sure. So great time this week. As usual, we'll be looking forward to see where we go next week and what species we're after, but very comfortably sitting in and qualified for the tournament. So now it's much more relaxed uh, time. I do have a lot to do this weekend, so we'll see how much time we get to uh, put into the hunter and the angler. But uh, a lot of stuff's got to get done around the old house. It's springtime's coming, so I'm sure that's that way for everybody. But if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on our next video. Until then.